Hey YouTube, it is me again with another YouTube video. This is the third one of today, March 18th. I'm doing another weapon review. I got about another four to go, including this one. This is Blue Jay Industries M4 PDW Mark IV ADW Ergonomic Variant. That is a mouthful, that is a super long title, and I definitely need to find a way to shorten it. But the funny thing about this weapon is LDD to Pavre can convert this to a Pavre file, but Pavre for some reason will not render this image. I don't know why, I can't fix it. I guess there's a certain piece that just doesn't incorporate itself into the Pavre database in terms of rendering, or maybe a color, but I've tested every color on this model and I couldn't find one, and it won't render. So I apologize that there is no super cool rendered image of this gun because it does look super fantastic. So a little bit of background on this gun before we take a look at it. The M4 PDW is the base line of the Blue Jay Industries company that I've made since I've started Blue Jay Industries. It's a smaller M4, it's for tank crews and things like that. The Blue Jay Industries M4 PDW EDW is the energy directed weapon version. It shoots plasma, it does not shoot standard lead bullets. It kind of works like the AE4 assault rifle from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now then, I've already shown you guys the EDW. However, I've now created the PDW EDW ergonomic variant which features a special stock on it that makes it much more ergonomic for certain people. So without further ado, I introduce to you the M4 PDW EDW ergonomic variant. Oh my gosh, I didn't even upload. I accidentally exited out of it. I apologize, guys, on so many levels. And I probably just crashed LED. I guarantee I just crashed LED. I gotta ship my laptop, sorry for any loud noises. Boom, here you go. Here is the M4 PDW EDW ergonomic variant. So this is a super, super cool, interesting looking M4 PDW, and I like it a lot. So there's a lot of mismatch going on here, and I might need to explain to you guys what's happening. So we have a M4 PDW Galil Ace variant upper receiver. So we have our um, brass deflector, which doesn't really apply to this model. Our Ford Assist, which doesn't really apply to this model, but they still look really good, so I'm going to leave those on there. Our Dust Cover, which is always helpful. And then we have our left-handed charging handle on this side, kind of like the Galil Ace. You can charge this weapon. It's a nice, simple uh, bolt design, as you can see here. Back that up. We have small indent tabs on the side of the receiver here just to make it look a little bit better. On this side, on over here, we have our dust cover. I pretty much already went over this, but I wanted to see if I could fold it up for you guys so that you guys can see it, uh, what it looked like while uh, folded. And Just so you guys get like a general idea of what it looks like, it's probably going to look something like that. And that's pretty much it for the upper receiver. The upper receiver features the functioning bolt and things like that. And then the back of the stock, where we usually start, which is why I'm kind of all like the fuddled, is an M8A1 PDW styled stock that I took off of the original M8 PDW. And I kind of put it on here and I modified it a little bit. So it's got this rubber butt pad, it's got the curve on it, that's the fit your uh, shoulder, things like that. It's got this awesome cheek rest up on top here. It's also rubberized, nice comfortable up against your cheek. It uh, sits up off the bottom of the ear stock here using um, circle pieces. It's got the kind of like angle shaping going on here. I went with a overall kind of three tone color. So I got this orange yellow going on with this darker red and the black all looks super amazing together. The lower receiver is really what's changed. So you've got your ambidextrous fire selector, of course, full auto, semi-auto, burst, and of course, you want your um, safety. 
and then we have sorry about this motorcycle it's going to be really loud coming by it's a faggot comes every day don't know why people have to have low, loud motorcycles as you can see though it curves comes back in curves down curves back up comes out and it's got a kind of like a p90 vest to it it's got the p90 styled uh the, the, the trigger to it where you pull back and it will come back forward it's got this thumb hole in the back here it's got the orange stripe going down throughout it on all these ends that motorcycle's coming back so sorry if you guys hear that again it's got the orange stripe going through it kind of like uh, just a nice little detail and then the, the trigger guard is enlarged so in case you're using gloves it's all right you can fit that nicely then we come into our interesting magazine and our magazine well it's got this white or uh, translucent clear window piece on the side so that you can see the energy bar oh my god give me a sec guys all right you probably still hear that but i'm trying to like get all the stupid ass sound in the background blocked out it's going to get really hot in this car now so that you guys can hear me it's got this window in it so that you can see the uh, magazine and its energy cell on the inside but the actual magazine is the black that you're seeing all this orange is the magazine well it's got a random bolt in it just for uh, stylish looks uh, as for the magazine the magazine looks something like this so this is a really interesting magazine it looks really nice and it functions great Moving on, we have our upper receiver uh, rail up here. It's got the standard uh, kind of advanced warfare sights going on. It looks something along the lines of that. It's got the rail system, the rail system there, rail system there, and rail system up on bottom. We have our standard M4 PDW uh, Peacekeeper styled foregrip. I just love these Peacekeeper style foregrips. They look really nice. And instead of having a normal barrel, it's got this yellow energy stream, kind of like the AE-4 does from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's also got this interesting, uniquely figured um, muzzle brake that kind of flares out in the sides. It's got a little bit of gas ports on the hole in it, and it looks really cool. So that's pretty much it for the overview of this gun. I've lost another good 6% of battery life um, by the time this video ends. And that's pretty much the M4 PDW EDW ergonomic variant. Uh, so I went with a new paint scheme. I really wish this would have rendered in poverty. It would have looked super fantastic with this paint scheme and different things like that. Uh, sorry if you heard movements. There's so much fucking shit moving on the background. I apologize for all the shit that you guys are probably hearing. I hate this with a burning passion, but I definitely need to do these videos. I always get interrupted at home, but I don't know if getting interrupted at home is as bad as you guys hearing all the shit that's going on in the background. But I'm going to go ahead and end off the video and say goodbye guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. Thanks for watching. See ya.